and welcome back. My name's Luke. And I'm Denver. And today we're diving into some of the most powerful camera features on your Galaxy, designed to capture stunning shots in any environment. Exactly. Whether it's shooting in the dark, capturing tiny details, or even taking photos of the stars, your Galaxy camera has the tools built in to make it effortless. In today's session, we'll explore low light, macro photography and astrophotography and show you how you can make the most of each one. First up, low light photography. Yes, have you ever taken a photo at night only for it to turn out grainy or too dark? Well, that's where Galaxy's Night Mode comes in. It uses AI and advanced sensor processing to brighten low light shots whilst keeping details clear. So even in near dark settings, you get sharp, vivid photos, perfect for city lights, concerts, or evening selfies. Let me show you how. Now, you will notice I am on the camera app. So what we're going to do on the camera app, we're going to take a selfie. Now, obviously you will have noticed I'm in a low light setting and you will have seen in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, a little moon icon. So if you tap on that, you'll see straight away, it will say night shot on. So if we take that same selfie again, you'll have noticed a three second countdown. That is basically using some of the exposure, how much light the camera needs to let in so it can really brighten and enhance that photo for you. Now, if you don't have that moon icon there, don't worry, there's another way to activate night mode. If you click on more and then night, it will pop up there. And then you can even see in the bottom left corner that three S, that's three seconds. So it's showing you how long the camera and light will be exposed for to really enhance that photo for you. But if you thought it was good on the selfie camera, let me show you it on the rear camera. And then we'll get a selfie again. So we'll do one with night mode on. So we'll do that one first. And then we're going to take it off so you can see the comparison between the two. And then you'll see when you see between the different images, both on the front facing and the rear camera, I think you'll agree there is a huge difference in the quality, the brightness, and how truly great the image quality is. Luke, tell me, when would you use night mode the most? Would it be nights out, yep. sunsets, or travel shots? You know what, probably nights out, like bars, restaurants, clubs, they're all a little bit dark, right? And if you wanna take a nice family photo of you out for dinner, probably nights out, what about you? Unbelievable. Yeah, no, mine would definitely be probably traveling. I do a lot of traveling, different city breaks and things like that. So obviously when you're visiting these places probably only once, you wanna make sure you're getting the best images every time. Ever try to take a close up photo, but it goes all blurry because the camera can't focus properly? Yes, well, that's when macro mode steps in. It automatically activates when you get close to your subject, capturing fine details you might miss with the naked eye. You can capture the smallest details, like the veins on a leaf or the sparkle of a gem with incredible precision. Let me show you how to do it. Okay, let me show you how to use macro mode on the S25 Ultra. Now we have a thing called Scene Optimizer, which will help us to use macro mode. I'm actually gonna take a close up of this hourglass here and get a really good picture of each individual bits of red sand. But first, let me just load up the camera because here's our set here. And you'll notice that when we're taking pictures of something further away, we're not using scene optimizer. So let me just walk around here to get a little bit closer to this and watch how the camera will instantly change to the macro mode lens using scene optimizer. So what I wanna do, I'm gonna zoom in just here. And you see that jump? That tells me now I'm using macro mode and I can zoom all the way in and I can let me get down low there, take a photo, and you'll see, I can now zoom in, and you can see each individual piece of sand using that macro mode lens on the S25 Ultra. So give it a go, it uses scene optimizer automatically, and you're gonna get some fantastic photos, crystal clear, about two to three centimeters away from a particular subject. So there we go, Denver, what kind of macro shots would you take? Oh, for me personally, I would say food. I'm on a bit of a health kick myself, so I can capture those incredible details with macro mode, post them on socials, everything's good. Hmm. What about yourself? You know what, my daughter Posey, her favorite insect is a ladybird. 
So taking pictures of insects up close and personal using macro mode, it's phenomenal. Oh, lovely. Now, have you ever looked up at the night sky and wish you could capture the stars the way you see them? Well, with the Astro Photo in the Expert RAW app, your Galaxy lets you do exactly that, using long exposure and advanced AI to capture stunning night skies. Yeah, it uses AI to reduce noise, enhance the stars, and even maps constellations. So you get breathtaking night sky photos straight from your phone. Denver, show us how to do it. You'll notice I'm on the camera app again, but to access Astro Photo, we need to click on more, and then you'll see Expert Raw in the top left corner. Now, if this isn't downloaded to your device, you might see a little arrow kind of pointing down next to the icon. Just still tap on it, and it will automatically download to your Galaxy device. So if I click on that now, you'll notice it looks very similar to your camera app. However, it has got so many more details. If you are a keen photographer, this will make a lot of sense to you. Things like frames per second, ISO settings, loads of key details for your photography. But what we're interested in is astrophoto. So what I'm going to do is turn my camera around and point it up towards the stars. However, we are in a studio, so you will be seeing not really the night sky, but you'll be seeing our studio instead. But what you can see is when I click on that little beaker icon, the little pop-ups are here. And the third one in is what you want. And you'll click on that and you'll see straight away Astro Photo. And what appears there are the different constellations that are above me right now. So I've got Serpens, for example, and Ophiuchus as well over there. I think we've got Queer. So you've got loads of different ones. So if you want to take a picture of it, you would hold it up there and you can do a capture time short, medium or long. So if we do short and I'll take that now, you'll notice the 30 second countdown. Now, you need to hold your camera really still throughout this. So I do advise that you do purchase a tripod when using Astro Photo to really get the most out of it. Now, I'm gonna come out of that for just a moment out of the 30 seconds. But in theory, once that's done, you'd have your beautiful Astro shot. You also have available though, is something called Astro Portrait, which basically allows you to get a person or a subject in the photo, they leave the frame, and then straight away, you're capturing your Astro photo again. So it's a nice little way to get that picture to post on your socials. Now, that's Astro Photo. Why don't we have a look at some pictures that we took earlier for some before and after the use of Astro Photo. Now, Luke, can you think of a place where you'd be using Astro Photo the most? You know what? I don't go camping regularly, right? But the few times I have done, because there's very little light pollution, that is the perfect setting to use that. What about you? For me, I just, my garden, yeah. my back garden, the simplicity of being able to sit there, blanket out there, lying down and looking at the sky without having to leave your home, incredible for me. It's really useful, right? Yeah, it is. Well, there we go. Here's a quick recap of what we've explored today. First up, low light photography, bright detailed shots, even in dark settings. Then it was all about macro photography, capture small details with crystal clear clarity. And finally, it was all about astro photo, Photograph the night sky like never before. Thank you so much for watching and learning with us today. If you've enjoyed this session, don't forget to hit subscribe for more Samsung Expert sessions. And be sure to share this video with anyone who'd love to get more out of their Galaxy devices. There you go. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.